Hi, my name is Gareth. I'm a teacher and teacher trainer based in the Czech Republic. Why am I interested in digital? Well, there's no doubt in we live in the digital age. Um, I live in Prague and I have friends all over the world. Through my computer and phone, I can easily keep in touch and stay close to all my family and friends. Technology has made the world a smaller place. This makes me think that there's fantastic opportunities for the English language classroom. Our students can get exposure to English through a variety of sources at home, in school or on the move. As well as the extra practice this will bring, uh, students will see a real need for English as it is at present the language of the digital age that we live in. Do teachers need to know about using digital in the classroom or should they want to know? Um, I think if you're successful at what you do and you can motivate and educate teenagers without technology, then why change? But having said that, we, we can't stop the future. Our students' lives are full of technology and they expect that in their schools as well. As a teacher, I'm always looking for ways uh, to motivate and inspire my students. Embracing digital technologies is one way we can change the dynamics of the classroom. The three most important things to remember about using digital. Um, well, my first thing is that it doesn't have to be a sudden revolution. Um, a well thought through evolution will be much more helpful. We don't have to change everything we do overnight. We should look for things that we think will work, try them in the classroom and see if they do work. A process of trial and error. That leads me to my second point, which is that we shouldn't over do it. We shouldn't overuse digital media in the classroom. Uh, the digital aspects can be one of many great tools we use. I still think that pen and paper, students' course books, students moving around and talking to each other are still really important parts of the classroom. So when experimenting with digital, I always ask myself, is this better for the students than what we did before? If the answer is yes, then, then great, but if not, I go back to my previous methods. Finally, technology has helped me to empower my students. I speak to teachers who say they're scared of using technology because they feel that the students will know more about it than they do. Uh, but I think this is great. I think that means that I can ask my students to help me if things go wrong. And often the person who's more gifted at technology is less gifted uh, at English. And if I ask them to help me, then they feel engaged in the English lesson. So I think technology has a future and has a place in our classrooms. And I think it's a really exciting future.